All right, so I'm going to have my sister either hold the idol for me while I put this in the intake or I'm going to hold the idol while she puts it in the intake. Sorry if I sound sick. I am a little sick low-key. But obviously, you guys know in today's video, we're going to do a little maintenance thing because, you know, the car just hit 100K miles. Um, I'm also going to do a PCV valve. But for right now, while I wait for that to come in, uh, we're just going to put this in the intake and try to clean up any carbon buildup because... If you guys saw in the last video, or not in the last one, but in the video when I changed my turbo, there was a good amount of carbon buildup. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I'm gonna stick this in here, upside down like that, and I'm gonna spray it in one second increments. So I'm gonna obviously attach the intake back on, and it's all gonna be connected, and this is gonna be wedged in, and I'm gonna have my sister hold the RPMs at 2000 until the whole bottle's done all right you guys so like i said it's all connected so there's no issues you want to do it before the math sensor so it doesn't throw a code so i did it right before it i was thinking about putting it here where this vacuum line is but i'm gonna test here first and we'll see what happens all right so i have my sister holding it i'm about to start the whip All right, so you're gonna hold it at 2,000 RPMs. It's probably gonna get a little hard. Not hard, but come on, focus. Hold on, my fault. So it's probably, well, yeah, hold it at 2K. Do not go over 3,500. And uh, yeah, it's probably gonna fade with you a little bit because obviously she's gonna be spraying shit into there. So, all right, but anyways, let's get started. Literally just like that. Don't let it die. Just hold it at 2,000 RPMs. Basically, what this is doing... Ooh. Basically, what this is doing is keeping it from stalling out when uh, you're spraying that stuff in there. So, it's actually a little tricky, but you're going to have to get used to it. Remember, do not go over 3,500. getting towards the end of the bottle so after you get to the end of the bottle what you're gonna do is you're gonna rev it two to three times and then let it sit for a minute and then after it sits for a minute like idling you're gonna turn it off and let it soak for an hour and then take it for a 10 minute beat run and obviously you guys want to change your oil after this because you're gonna have all that carbon buildup and shit floating around and you don't want that obviously so obviously make sure you do an oil change after this all right so we just finished so now we're gonna just let it we're gonna uh rev it a few times and then let it idle All right, so it's been around roughly a minute, minute or two, so I'm gonna turn it off now. And I'm gonna undo everything and let it sit for an hour. So I'll get back to you guys in an hour when it's all set. Um, let's see how it's looking. How did it sound? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Smells clean in here. No, I'm gonna smell like a fucking exhaust. Bro. No, you're not. Yes, All right. So my sister's an egg, and she didn't tell me that 
<laughs> the can was leaking as I was revving and everything. But it's all good. Uh, most of the bottle was gone, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to let it sit for an hour, and then we're going to come back out. And hopefully, when we take it for the drive, we'll notice the difference. Few moments later. All right, so it's been an hour. Here we go. Don't mind the uh, bags on the seats for work. She's already warm because it's only been an hour. I'm gonna let her warm up a little bit more. Then we're gonna go for a little 10 minute drive and we'll see how she's running. So far, she's driving normal, to be honest. Let's see when we get on the highway. All right, y'all. Damn. My fault. I just worked out, so the camera's shaky as fuck. I can't hold it straight. But anyway, damn, why is this shit mad close? Uh, the car feels actually a lot smoother. Like, I know this might sound like I'm just making it up or some shit, but the car actually does run a lot smoother. The throttle response actually is better than what it was before. And trust me, I noticed that shit. I drive every day. Two hours. But we're about to get on the highway right now. We're actually getting on right now. So I'm going to do a little poll for you guys. My clutch is slipping. I'm also getting a new clutch soon. But uh, Stock turbo, and you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I don't even think I put it on the highest map, but it's running pretty smooth. We're just getting all the contaminants out, all that extra carbon. Uh, we'll get an oil change tomorrow, and we should be cooling. People always in my way, bro. I can honestly say the car is driving pretty smooth. Next up, PCV valve, uh, oil change. What else? What else? Whatever maintenance is at 100K miles. But, uh, we're gonna put some gas and head back home and she should be all set. It's been 10 minutes already, but obviously I'm gonna drive a little more just to make sure everything's out. I hate when it does this. Might have to hit Wendy's no cap. I'm not trying to be fair, but I haven't eaten yet. But yeah, we're in Salem right now. Nice clean little 335. She cleaned up pretty well, boys. But all right, y'all. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we have some more videos coming for sure, so stay tuned for that. Comment down below if you want to see anything else. And that's it. Peace. All right, you guys. So it's actually the next morning. I'm on my way to work. I noticed. So I have a, obviously, you guys know I have the remote start. So I had a remote start and whatever warmed up. And I noticed that's all I could small outside is this stuff that I put in the car to clean it which obviously I'm sure that's normal I don't know who knows but I still smell it as I'm driving it smells clean I'm not complaining car is still driving smooth so I got no complaints but I just wanted to let you guys know that you still smell it the next day I'm pretty sure